Welcome to Weekly Time Capsule, Week 44, 2021. My name is Didi Shoto. It's your boy, Big Worm. I mean, Big Hustle. All right, and we are right. in here again, y'all, yeah. for another week. Hey, y'all below too. Talk to us, bro. Comment below, man. We all been here, man. That's right. Before we get in it, go ahead and subscribe give, right now. Give us y'all news. And if you're already used to seeing us and you know it's going to be good, go ahead and like it right now too, okay? Yeah, subscribe. All right, you guys. Well, let's get into it, Mike. Let's go. What we got? All right. Up first, we got a viral oh, moment. Oh, oh, oh. Boosted bad and dropped the F-bomb and Lil Nas X. All right. It dropped the F-bomb. I'm sorry. I hit the button on you, didn't I? Yeah, <clears throat> did, did. There you go. Boosted bad ass. Drops the f bomb after Lil Nas X fan steps up to him in public. That is right. So there it was an apparent situation where Lil Nas X's uncle said to Boosie, "You know, oh, you the one was talking about my niece." <laughs> oh yeah, about he's she like your be... niece. Who is your niece, Lil Nas X? Tell me, you gonna be Boosie? I'm like, oh my god, Boosie, finna get them hands, put them hands on him. And it went viral. But uh, come to find out, that's a video shoot. It was not real, people. It's not real at all. Y'all just run with let's, everything. Let's have, some, let's have some sense about ourselves because if you pay attention, you will see the big microphone uh, shotgun thing at the top and people just just looking like they don't know what's going on. You know, Red of the up, council. People are having conversations. <laughs> you know, talking about why it's happening. Exactly. So, yeah, they were ready to counsel Boosie. They thought he dropped the F-bomb. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it wasn't real, you guys. Pipe down. It was not real. Oh, Give Boosie a break, bro. Give Let him go. a break. All right. So, hey, what we got next, Mike? I think we got politics. Politics? We're not politicking no more. We're not, we're not tricking no more. I'm, no, still, we're I'm not. still tricking with the politics. tricks. We I'm, have... still, I'm tricking with the politicians. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, we got the political hot wire. It's now political called the political wire. hot wire. We restructure it a little bit. Yeah, just in case politics who don't want to treat. Want to come over here. All of that, you guys. Right. So up next, we got the political hot wire. And it is connected today with the Mississippi made news. All right, we are talking about some Mississippi politics today. There you go. Hicks wins county judge special election. Sheriff District 5 Constable Alexis for a runoff November 23rd. What they got going on with her? Yeah, there's been some elections going on up in Jackson, you guys. I hope y'all got out to vote. However, the news did say that this was like a low voter turnout. So too many people didn't show up. I don't think that they have too much faith in the politicians, but I think Jackson is about to turn over a little bit. I think enough people are angry about what's going on, and I think they might start making some good decisions when it comes to these elections. What you think? I think, man, everybody just needs to put their faith in me. I got some ideas. You feel me? Yes. So but, we had a sheriff thing. They got a sheriff oh yeah, runoff. Okay, we got, who we got the sheriff? We got two guys. Mm -hmm. they say Marshawn they Chrysler. Shout out, shout out Marshawn. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. And what's the other guy's name? Jones. Tyree Jones. Tyree Jones. They say they're going to. Uh, Lewis Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they said they're going to do a runoff, so I'm trying to figure out whether they're going to do a 40-yard dash or a 100-yard sprint. So we're just trying to uh, get that figured out right now. We're trying to make it make sense. Right. I need that. I want to see them box, personally. You know what I'm saying? Put them in the ring, put the gloves on them. Who come out on top? That's going to be the shield. We need somebody tough who can fight crime. And I think maybe we'll get a good me? voter turnout if, if they had to box it out. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? We get the people guy, we get the young guys out. Everybody come together, then bam, we got them. Speech. Okay, that's how let's you go. get the young people out. Let's go, let's go. Exactly. But, up. yeah, so y'all make sure you turn up to vote, okay? You know, you never know how it can go and turn in y'all neighborhoods, okay? You should be outraged, so you should be out there trying to find the right person in your area. So, yeah, vote, Jack Town. Let's get out and vote. Come on, guys. Let's do this because we can have some people that's in the office that can make some changes, you feel me? Because when I run for office, I'm going to need y'all to vote for me because I'm going to make some changes for real. There's going to be some shaking up. Going mm -hmm. on in the city. You got my vote, big word. I mean, Mike Hustle. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Y'all, the hip hop skinny. Let's go. Who we got in the hip hop skinny? Hip hop. Don't y'all just like hip hop? 
I love hip hop. Oh my gosh, this is oh, awful, man. you guys. This is about the Travis Scott concert. Astro World. Astro World, y'all. There were about how many deaths? Nine deaths. A Eight lot of people like injured. Um, R.I.P. to everybody who passed. Or hope everyone who was affected or injured. Hope you get back well and 100 percent to attend another concert. Cause baby, life don't stop. Let's do this. Yeah, they said while it was going on, people were dying. It was a whole melee going on. And I, we trying to figure out how were they dying? Were they overheated? Were they on drugs? Or did someone inject them with drugs? Because all three of those are definitely important to know. Well, yeah, it was uh, said that all of those things happened. It said that people were uh, injecting security guards with uh, drugs. Um, it was just awful, you guys. Yes. Uh, fans were yelling for them to stop the concert, stop the concert while it was going on. I guess they just was not aware. Uh, people were getting stabbed no to idiot. death, trampled on. It was it was awful. Yeah, like... Uh... I saw the when they was entering the uh the gates and they were just ramping in. So you could have came in with anything. You could have had a bazooka in the crowd, bro. You, you let that thing off. Wasn't nobody gonna stop you because you got in free. But you guys, they said they this had concert searched. had more security than the World Series. More security, but they I saw people running through the gate. There ain't no way. There ain't nobody get searched like that. I don't know Anybody what happened, searched? but CNN reported. I don't know if I can say that that it was more. Um, more security than the World Series. So how all that happened, I don't know. I could definitely say somebody had to be on drugs and got drugs. Man, the devil was over there. Yeah, that, that it was. It was awful. So was it free? Because I heard that Travis was supposed to refund everybody who came to the <clears throat> concert. Yeah, I think he's doing it. Yeah, so so and, he and is I doing think, that. And I think, uh, you know, they're giving Travis Scott so much uh, of the blame, which... Uh, you know, I don't know the full story, but I've seen multiple videos of him singing while, uh, I guess, allegedly a dead body was there. But how would he know that, you know what I'm saying, that's a dead body? People follow that at shows all the time. Crazy And fans. also, I saw a video with him also stopping the show, getting security over there, getting the minutes over there to help someone, though. So, I mean, you know. He's distraught. Uh, I, he... I just don't think he's the bad guy no. in this guy, in this thing right here. But, I don't think know, so, this, either. Just give Travis Scott a break. You know? Yeah, I think he's really upset. He canceled his next yeah. uh, concert he had. Was it in Vegas? So he is, yeah, he, he's not happy. And I don't think he had anything to do with no knowledge of that. Nah, man, you know. But yet Drake is getting sued with him. I don't understand that. So was Drake Drake at the concert? I don't know, but he's in a lawsuit with whoever's getting sued with him. And that's, I don't know, Nonsense. that's crazy. Nonsense. First of all, you throw Drake in there, you ain't going to win, bro. First of all, so that's good. So, you know, they're going to come out on top. I'm sure Drake got the best or the best of lawyers. He's not going to take a loss. He ain't taken one yet. No. I don't know. I don't know about Drake. Drake used to be hot now. I don't know what he turned into. But anyway, that's a whole other story. We got the sports. And well, actually, this is entertainment. Oh, and it's entertainment. involving a sports athlete. And Rogers. Yes. Mm. Aaron Rodgers had the whole world thinking that he was vaccinated, I mean, immunized. Huh? Yeah, one of them. No, he, he said that he was immunized, and I guess they took it and thought that he was vaccinated. And so, oh, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Um, I hope he gets better because he is in the hospital with COVID right now. He was not vaccinated. So Aaron Rodgers been capping it the whole time. Boy, I tell you. All right, correction. Correction, you guys. I stand corrected right now. The producers are telling me that he is not in the hospital. Right. He is not in the hospital. He is unsymptomatic. He is asymptomatic. <laughs> so he is asymptomatic. He is not in the hospital. He, um, he, he's not having many symptoms at all. Uh, well, I wish him the Tom best. Tom Brady would never. <laughs> never. Tom Brady was the first football player to get vaccinated. I'm sure of that because he's a Mr. Football. Uh, yeah, he is a Mr. <laughs> football. And Tom Brady, he wasn't. He's not the one who was involved in the scandal in Mississippi, was he? Uh, that was Brett Favre, I think. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah. sorry. You always have to correct me with this. Oh, yeah, stuff. Let's do this here, cause, you know. Yeah, well, you know, but uh, I hate that for Aaron Rodgers. I hope he feels better. Well, apparently he's. Feeling okay, but he's just at home. He he was diagnosed with COVID, so yeah, hey. But he's gonna be all right, okay, everybody. It, mind your own business. There are HIPAA laws, okay. Oh yeah. 
All right. What's next? Sports highlights. Sports highlights. Who's doing? Who's in the sports highlights today? Yeah, Atlanta Braves win the World Series for the first time since 1995. Well, that's awesome. Because I know that there are a lot of people who do not even know anything about baseball, but they are Atlanta Braves mm -hmm. fans. Atlanta Braves. I like the Braves, though, for real. Yeah. Do you like baseball, or you just like the Atlanta Braves? I like. I like. You like the A. I like. I like the Yankees. I like the Braves. I like. Uh, you know, a couple teams. You know, like. Yeah. You know, not like I. Uh, not like I used to. You know, I don't know any. I don't have no favorite player because I don't really know nobody. Of Ooh. course, back in when I was younger, of course, you know, the yeah. Atlanta Braves had Chipper Jones. And Cool. You, know, you had uh, Julio Franco, you had Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, you know what I'm saying? I'm oh. sure them guys are proud right now, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Who was, who was, uh... Well, that's awesome. Yeah, who are some of the players that were involved in this victory? I see some dude named Al Bees oh, and Sonya right. on here. So, you know, shout out to them dudes, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's awesome, you guys. So that is great. I don't know too much about baseball. But, you and know, I beat, always talk about the Mississippi Braves. they beat the Houston Astros. Well, that was a good so, one. You know, Astro World, Astros. This is the whole loss for the whole Astro community right now. So, I mean, Ow. Houston got to bounce back, bro. Let's go. Slim Thug, where you at, bro? Only you can save it. Let's do this. Yeah, exactly. And Megan Thee Stallion. She's not in this. Well, yeah, you guys. So, that was a victory. And that's awesome. So, shout out to Atlanta. Forty-four, ain't it? Yeah, week forty-four. Uh, WTC. Weekly time castle. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. Yes. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh -huh. and also comment. Yes. And please let Mike Hustle know how you love the curls, how that works for him. Bro, I appreciate y'all letting the pimp talk. You feel me? Let oh, me know what y'all think about so. that. Comment below what y'all think about this dude. I'm gonna try to suit it up every week for y'all. That's right. And before we leave, you already know we have the Mississippi Recording Artist Spotlight, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Yeah, shout out to him or her. All right, peace out. Thought I did that travel and I see you, boy. <laughs>
16 Boys Recording dot webs dot com. 16 Boys Recording Studio. You can also contact us at 601-622-2922. Located in Jackson, Mississippi, 4652 McWillie Drive. Your number one industry standard recording studio. 16 Bars. Offering quality recording, mixing, mastering, editing, music production, live bands, voiceovers, and more. Contact us today. Block rates available. Also visit on Instagram at 16 Bar Studio. Call KJ at 601-622-2922. Book your session today. <laughs>